The professor must be busy today. Any clues? What's that? I don't know. Look, there's a bowl with something in it. That's an orange, those are peanuts, but that plant? I don't know. It's cotton, explorers. All are grown in the region we're going to visit today. Oranges. Oh, Florida. Well, that's part of it, McKenna. But how about if we explore the environments of all the southeast region of the United States? Southeast. That's what it says. Sounds fun to me. I'm ready. Let's be off, shall we? The southeast region of the United States is a vast area that stretches inland from the Atlantic Ocean to Arkansas and Louisiana. It extends south to the Gulf of Mexico and north to the Ohio River. The 12 states that make up the southeast region are Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Many people also consider Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands to be part of the Southeast region. Among many features of the Southeast region, there are two that really stand out. The first is the Mississippi. It's the second longest river in the United States and it runs right through the southeast region. The Mississippi River was named by Algonquian Native Americans who called it Mississippi, which means Father of Waters or Big Water. At its source, the Mississippi is little more than a shallow creek that flows out of Lake Itasca in Minnesota and starts its 2,340 mile journey to the Gulf of Mexico. As it flows southward, the river grows wider and deeper as it is fed by tributaries and small rivers. As the Mississippi River moves toward its mouth in Louisiana, it leaves large amounts of silt that build to form a delta. Natural erosion causes the river to change direction over a period of time. This makes it hard for even experienced captains to navigate its waters. In time, engineers constructed walls to keep the Mississippi from flooding and also help keep the river from changing course. Another notable feature of the southeast are the Appalachian Mountains. These mountains make up the second largest mountain system in North America. They run through eight of the 12 southeastern states. The Great Smoky Mountains are a part of the Appalachian Mountain system. These mountains between North Carolina and Tennessee got their name from the mist that hangs over them. At the eastern foot of the Appalachian Mountains lies the Piedmont. This is an area of gently rolling hills and rich soil. Between the Piedmont and the Atlantic Ocean lies a large coastal plain. Low, flat land, rivers, forests, and coastal marshes are the natural features that can be found in the coastal plain. The coastal plain and Mississippi Delta are home to many wetlands like swamps and marshes because of their low elevation. At times, these wetlands make it difficult for rivers and streams to drain. But wetlands are important to the environment because they help control floods by soaking up water. They also provide a habitat for many plants and animals. The Okefenokee Swamp is a wetland on the coastal plain. It is located in Georgia. The Everglades are another wetlands area located at the southern tip of Florida. The Everglades were established as a national park in 1947. They are home to alligators, manatees, huge turtles, and many kinds of fish and birds. A boat is the only way to travel in some parts of the Everglades. There are also many islands off the coast of the southeast. Just off the coast of North Carolina are the barrier islands. These low, narrow islands are near the coast and are made up of sand and silt and gravel carried by rivers or ocean waves. The Florida Keys are actually islands. These islands were formed by the skeletons of tiny sea animals called coral. Other islands off the southeast coast include Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, 
Although they may be quite a distance away from the mainland United States, they are still considered part of the southeast region. The Virgin Islands are known as a territory. Its citizens are citizens of the United States, and they are governed by United States laws. Puerto Rico is different. It's a commonwealth of the United States. A commonwealth is a place whose citizens are citizens of another country, but they govern themselves. So, explorers, you can see all of the different areas this region has to offer. You've got the mountains, you've got the islands, you've got the swamp, and of course, you've got the mighty Mississippi River. Over here, explorers! I'm fine now, and I'm in Miami Beach. Now, as I was saying. How's the weather there, Professor? Oh, I'm glad you asked. The weather here is pretty much the way it is around the entire southeast region. It stays pretty much warm all year round, some rainfall, except when the hurricanes come. Hurricanes? I'm sorry, explorers. I'd better run for cover. The climate in the southeast is usually warm, with moderate amounts of rainfall. This region receives more direct sunlight than most parts of the country because it is closer to the equator. The area across the United States that is close to the equator is known as the Sun Belt. The Sun Belt is a popular location for many retirees and tourists. Because these tourists flock to this warm weather area, they are called sunbirds. Millions of tourists flock to the southeast every year for vacation during the winter when northern regions are experiencing cold weather. But along with the beautiful southeast weather comes the danger of hurricanes. These hurricanes form over the warm seas. As they move over the land, heavy rains and strong winds swirl, destroying just about everything in their paths. Wow! With all those storms, how does anything survive in the southeast? Although occasionally the weather can be pretty severe, it's usually very mild, between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which gives the southeast an unusually long growing season. Plenty of time to make use of its natural resources. And what are those? Well, why don't you check the resource section of the book nook there, Kristen? all these peanuts? Well, the ones you don't eat, you can always sell for cash. Agriculture is a very profitable business in the southeast region because of the long growing season. The mild weather allows farmers to grow crops most of the year. Most farmers produce more than they can use. They sell the rest of their crops. These cash crops include peanuts, oranges, pineapples, peas, tobacco, cotton, sugarcane, and beans. Peanuts are an important crop in Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, and Virginia. They grow well in this region because they need frost-free weather for four to five months and plenty of rain. Florida grows a lot of oranges, four out of five of our country's oranges to be exact. Georgia and Mississippi are leading growers of cotton Cotton grown here is made into cloth, paper, and cooking oil, and carpet. Dalton, Georgia manufactures more carpet than any other city in the nation. Near the ocean, the southeast has a large coastal plain. It is wide and the soil is fertile, making it another great region for farming. Raising livestock is also common on the coastal plain. Beef cattle, dairy cows, hogs, and poultry are all valuable resources to the southeast economy.